everyone, welcome back. We're going to open the elevator. Um, here with the yuck. So this is actually the thing you can hire a car with. Yeah. Though I kind of wonder why we find it in a shopping mall. Uh, no, you know. Ooh, I wouldn't go down there. Uh, that's why I use the rope. <laughs> you gotta use the rope here or else you will have a problem. It's a magical rope. It's like, ooh. It's like in, in Lord of the Rings if you were standing on, on the bottom and... No, it's not like in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I just wanted to say something. Okay, I, I won't believe you. Oh. I can't say. No, it's not true. I know this. <laughs> Uh, emergency staircase. Oh yeah, we check that out. It's broken. Can I go up there? Someone is whispering in our background. Who might it be? I'm not talking to a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. No That's strange. <laughs> We're at Echo. Wow. And we found Echo. Hello, Yuri. <laughs> Reception area, there are catalogs scattered around. Maybe it's just a filthy room. Oh, there's something in the floor. A dog figurine. No, I wanted the other thing. Beef jerky. Beef jerky. Okay. Well, well, like tomato juice or something. The lock's broken. I think the other one won't be broken. I think there's something coming up. I don't like it. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. The room. <laughs> oh, no. Just for a display, it can't really be used. Okay. Oh, there's something on a toilet. The bathtub display. There's a dark red stain on the bottom. It's just for it can't really be used. Okay. We are obviously at something where you can buy bathrooms. Hmm. The bathroom buying shop thing. Okay, I think this is a kind of an obvious part. <laughs> and obviously, it's totally not important. Why does she do this? I don't know. <sighs> I knew it. What do you need water for? Water? We're talking about blood. Yeah, but she doesn't turn the thing on to start to have blood, does she? Uh, no. <laughs> so here, we are switching. What we, seriously, why did she go there? Why did she do this? Like, oh, there's a bathing tub. I have to turn something. Yeah, let's see if there's one. Maybe she was thirsty. It's being invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Who are you? Stop talking to us. Welcome to Pizarro World. Oh no, not again. <sighs> Did she do this too? Yeah, it was the best <laughs> evil bathtub. Oh my gosh. That's the secret ending of Silent Hill 3. It's the bathtub. <laughs> so, I still think that we we're going to see that weird creature again. And I forgot to look up the name of it. Yeah, we do. But I, I think. Oh, there. Look at this. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that the butcher? Could be. From Origins? It looks like the butcher from Origins. And he has a baby? Uh. Oh, he has two babies. The mommy likes thing in a wheelchair is just a doll. Or, or is it? Something about it makes me uneasy. Why, I wonder. And why is there a wheelchair in this building? Or a doll, for that matter? Seriously, I think this would talk. It would totally make me feel easy if it was pink plush stuff, plush bear or something. Oh wow, that was like Uh, yeah, run away. Yeah, okay, bye bye. <laughs> no need you. You can meet our katana if you want. Oh, a flower! I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it's withering away. Oh, I thought it's like in uh in in Resident Evil where it keeps the plant. 
Okay, what are we looking at here? Oh, there's, there's something, something there. there. Hide the Holy One. Kill her. Kill her? Uh, question mark. Oh, she's the Holy One. And she has to be killed. That's me. Who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. Well, someone who obviously stood to your left. Oh, we found a safe point. Ooh, safe point. Well, maybe she was standing on a mirror and you took a photo of the mirror. That or... He was behind a mirror, and we only thought that it was a mirror, but it was some of these fake glasses. Oh, so she was at the police office? Yes. Our uh, FBI were. Yeah, confess! We know you did it! It's a huge conspiracy! Woo! We just have to find out. Uh -huh. Oh, there's that guy. I hate him. Hello, go away. Heather. That's what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? He is called Ethel. My name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? What was your name again? I'm on your <laughs> side. Sorry, we, we did not get my rights. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. Obviously the only two she was girls totally on brainwashed planet. by that crazy old hag. I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? The woman who gave birth to you? You don't remember? Uh, so Harry. Didn't there we tell you go. anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. You rather hey, you apologize. My father anyway. Can we throw something at him? Dynamite? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Doesn't this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. You're like dirty, but... Wait! Oh, I'm not it. finished talking! <sighs> you knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you too. Isn't that nice? I Everything and uh, I won't tell you. I hate these people. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> really, probably. Scary. Oh, what do I have here? This is a junior high school chemistry book here. When you pour a diluted hydrogen peroxide onto manganese dioxide, oxygen is produced. Although oxygen will not burn on its own, it will help other things to burn. Yeah, we totally isn't, know what that isn't is. Isn't it nice that, that someone just put on the page, you know, you need... Yeah, it's you, so you don't even have to search for it. <laughs> yeah, that's so nice. Okay, um, this is where the plan was. This one was a locked door. And we just walked in a circle. Yeah, I think it's because you don't want to go back to the room where Winston was. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, I'm gonna go straight through here and straight and see what happens then. If we can go straight, this is the question. Oh, there was. Okay, if you have, there's someone on the ground, hit off the ground. I, I, I totally try, I can't do this. I can't hit it. Like, crazy. Up, Heather, and 
If I started uh, the third floor, I will go and you only have like four floors, I would start with four and then go down to one. But if I start, if you have four floors and you start on two, I would go and check out one first and then two, three, and four. You uh, know? I, 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 I don't know, I think that probably has some psychological reasons. Yeah, first check out the small one. <laughs> No, for, not for you. For you, it has the logical reason. <laughs> for some reason, the only thing in the fridge is liver. I hope it's not wrong. Mm -hmm. I got the liver. Cigarette bud. There's one of the fat guys here. Just like, I don't know what to have. Maybe there was something in here. Well, maybe he, he ate, ate all the food in the, in the fridge. And <laughs> look, he's like, uh, uh, I'm so sick, uh, I'm so full. <laughs> and look, his foot is like, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to poke him with a stick. That would be funny, like, tick, 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 tick. are you okay? Okay, the locks are all broken. Um, uh, okay, straight again or to the right? We can do, 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 can do both. Or we it's locked, okay. But you can unlock it probably from the other side. Oh yeah, I take a look at this guy. Don't get too near and don't shoot him. But there's this book on the floor, we have to get to the book. The book's lying here, it looks like a fairy tale. Uni's going to read a fairy tale, so you know. <coughs> okay. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its, its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster and no one would dare approach the gate. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that! Their swords flashed and their spears flashed. But the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knight into its mouth, one by one, horses and all. No, not the horses! <laughs> what was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gate. It looks torn. The rest is missing. Oh. I remember reading this a long time ago. I think I borrowed it from someone. I don't remember how it ended though. That's. Uh, <coughs> didn't I read the story through to the end? Well, maybe you didn't. But we're at the end of our recording time, so we will go on search for the ending of the story. And you can try to figure out in the meantime what kind of thing this is. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye bye.